This is Twit. I work with Black Magic, and they're doing <laughs> a. Uh, yeah, I, I like to call it a toaster, um, but uh, a, a Radeon Pro 580 external GPU with eight gigs of video memory, and that's going to sell for $700. Um, the Blackmagic E GPU, um, so uh, which also packs a couple of Thunderbolt ports, four USB 3 ports, an HDMI 2 port, um, supports Thunderbolt 3 displays, uh, should you have the coin uh, to pick up uh, one of those 5K LG monitors. Um, this is uh, this is good if you are a video editor, um, and it's actually available yeah. now. And I, you know, I, I it, you know, it's it does kind of look like a toaster in the sense of a Cylon. Um, you know, it's it's a classic. If you kind of click at the link, it's seven hundred dollars. It's only available from Apple, um, but it's got that sort of like air in through the bottom, out through the top. Uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, it's one of those but, things where it, it's. It's seven hundred dollars for right. an RX five eighty, which is not a it's not a five hundred dollar graphics card. It's not a four hundred dollar graphics card. It's probably more like a three hundred dollar graphics card. So you're paying, right. you know, for the Thunderbolt capability, the dock, the expansion. Like you do get a lot of kind of add-ons for it: the the USB, the Thunderbolt, the HDMI, right. um, the look, the style. Blackmagic stuff is an int- it, Blackmagic's a great brand. We use a lot of their stuff here. It's yeah. it's a it's an in-between, I would call it. It's not like the highest end, most expensive video gear you can get, but it's also not cheap knockoff stuff that you're getting on Amazon from a third-party reseller, but you're not actually sure if you're going to be able to get support or to get it to function, right? So yeah. they have, they have, they're in this perfect niche for them of where there's not a lot of competition in that market. They're doing a very good job there. This one, it seems it's a little bit odd to me, too, that it's Apple only. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if there are just enough support issues with trying to get you know, uh, external graphics cards working on Windows machines when you might have RS3, you might have RS4, you have different Thunderbolt implementations on notebooks versus PCs. Whereas with the Mac, you just go, well, these four devices are supported. Boom, it's done. We've limited our our incoming phone calls by a dramatic (laughs) bit, right? So I'm sure that's a, a, a part of it.